It's been more than 30 years since the original Final Fantasy was released. The game was considered a masterpiece for its time, but what about today? Is Final Fantasy 1 still worth playing? The purpose of this video is to help you figure out the answer to that question. Towards the end of the video, I'll also go over the best versions of the game so you can decide which one you should play. Final Fantasy plays just like you'd expect from a classic JRPG. The wilderness is full of monsters that are fought in random encounters. Towns and castles provide safe havens where you can recover health, buy equipment, and get information about your quest. Dungeons must be explored and fiendish bosses conquered to advance the story. And as you'd expect from a Final Fantasy game, you will get your hands on an airship. That said, many of this series' iconic elements, such as chocobos, moogles, and summon monsters like Shiva and Ifrit are missing in this first entry. A unique feature for the series is the party creation system. You begin the game by creating four characters, giving them names and selecting jobs from a list of six possible options, including classics like Black Mage and Red Mage. The choices you make during character creation will drastically alter the experience you have with the game. Unlike later titles, the jobs you choose here are permanent. Given that you create the game's characters yourself, you might be wondering how those choices fit into the story. The answer is, they don't. Final Fantasy tells the story of the four warriors of light, who traveled the world to defeat the four fiends and restore light to the world's elemental crystals of wind, water, fire, and earth. Players who expect the rich and complex storytelling the Final Fantasy series is famous for may be disappointed, as Final Fantasy tells a simple and mostly straightforward tale. There are almost no cutscenes, and the four heroes don't speak a single line of dialogue. And only a handful of NPCs even have names. Most of the game is spent fighting monsters, and battles run on a pure turn-based system, where you give commands to all four heroes before the start of each round. The heroes and the monsters then take turns making their moves until everyone's acted. You can attack, cast spells, and drink potions, but with a few exceptions, combat is a fairly simple affair. For a classic RPG, Final Fantasy isn't a very long game. You can expect to spend 20 to 25 hours to finish the story, but about half of that time will be spent grinding for experience and gold. The world is vast, but for the most part, the way you explore it is linear. Despite this, the game doesn't give you a lot of guidance about where to go or what to do. From time to time, you may need to consult a guide to know how to proceed. At its worst, Final Fantasy feels dated, and it can be a slog at times. But at its best, it's a wonderful adventure in a vast fantasy world filled with magic and monsters. The heroes grow from untested youths into powerful champions of light, wield legendary weapons, and fight dragons. For all its simplicity, Final Fantasy is a fun JRPG with a solid amount of content. You should play this game if you're a fan of classic RPGs, or if you're a Final Fantasy fan who wants to see how this amazing franchise began. Final Fantasy has had a number of remakes over the years. These newer versions have boosted the game's graphics, improved the soundtrack, and added some basic cutscenes and dialogue. The remakes also got rid of a lot of the frustrations and questionable design choices from the original game, and extended the experience by adding several bonus dungeons featuring bosses from later games in the series. The best versions of the game are Dawn of Souls for the Game Boy Advance and Anniversary Edition for the PlayStation Portable, though I personally prefer the way the Game Boy Advance version looks and feels. If you can't get your hands on either of these, there is an iOS version. This one's based on the Anniversary Edition, but apparently introduces a bunch of new bugs. This game is also available on Android, but for some reason that version does not include the bonus dungeons. Check out my Final Fantasy 1 retrospective if you want to learn more about what the original version was like and how it's held up by modern standards. Fair warning, that video contains a lot of spoilers. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and if you want to help a tiny channel grow, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.